but I mean, my legs might not work, but this does. <laughs> and I can still make you feel good. Jennifer. Oh, God, it's so hard. Did I tell you this? hospital is sending me on an exchange program for a couple months. I'll be leaving next week. But I'll be back soon and we should totally hang out again then. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you said you wanted to discuss something with me? Yes, yeah. Um, it's about my husband. Uh, I I'm sure you already heard I'm married to Adrian Lewis. I did. Yeah, well, uh, he's in recovery and, um, Sam, I, I know you specialize in this field, and I was wondering if you happen to know anything that could help him recover faster. Sierra, let's be honest. Why did you marry a man like Adrian Lewis? Is it because of money? <laughs> you think I'm a gold digger. No, no, no. That, that's not it. I'm sorry. That came out wrong. I just thought maybe you married him because you were in a tight spot. You know, with your grandpa and everything. If you don't like him, we don't have to have this conversation. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, there is a new med that the hospital research team has been working on that might help. Re really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, why, why don't you come back to my place and uh, I can show it to you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would love that. Awesome. I checked. Madam went to see a guy today, Samuel Wood. They went to a coffee shop, and then they went back to his place together. Wait, your wheelchair! <gasps> Cute. Scary. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's hey. my husband. Come, come here, come here, come here. Oh, get this, get this hubby. You messed with the wrong girl. Boss, don't make me take madam. It's okay, I can take care of my wife. Oh. Oh. Seems like Madam went to see Samuel Woods because he's a doctor specializing in paralysis. I did a background check. They went to college together. Stupid girl. Joey, I want you to teach this guy a lesson. Make this the biggest mistake of his life. Drunk. Beat up a guy and, <laughs> and ran a fever. Oh, oh my God. Well. <laughs> I only have one glass of wine. Don't worry. <laughs> I took care of that guy, Samuel Woods. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you worry. Sure. I had a dream that your legs were covered and that you picked me a bridal style. <laughs> Come here. Come in. I gotta head out today, okay? Just a little bit. Victoria's gonna be here to make sure you're okay. Alright. Feeling better. I know, but you got pretty sick last night. I wanna make sure you're okay while I'm gone. Okay. Mm, where's that? Okay. 
Victoria, please take care of my wife while I'm gone, okay? You got it. Will do. She's allergic to hazelnuts. You're sure? Positive. Thank you, Eva. My pleasure. Here. This should help you feel better. What is it? It's uh, root vegetables and fruit. Thanks. Is there anything else you wanted to say? No. I was just thinking. A girl like you, how could you ever be with a man as great as Adrian Lewis? Doesn't matter what you think, it matters what Adrian thinks. You really have no shame. Adrian is my husband. What do I have to be ashamed of? You, on the other hand, you should learn when to back off from a man who's taken. That bitch! I didn't think Flora was capable of this either. They are sisters after all. But Samuel said it himself. Flora was the one who put him up to it. I could take care of this. Mm. No. We're gonna play the long game here. Stop scratching. You'll only make yourself uglier. Ugh. Sierra, what happened? I don't know. I'm so itchy. And this only happens when I have hazelnuts, but I didn't eat any. People develop new allergies all the time. I can run a full allergy exam for you next time you come by the hospital. Okay, I can't stand this anymore. I'm gonna go take a cold shower. So what do I owe the pleasure? Adrian, we could have gone out to eat. You didn't have to go through the hassle of preparing food for me. But thank you. Just for you, Victor. Adrian, you know I'm allergic to peaches. Just like you knew, Sierra was allergic to hazelnut. Eat it, Victoria. Don't make me ask you twice. How could you do this to me? I've known you since we were kids. This is how you treat me? Over a girl you just met? Exactly. I'm letting you off the hook this time because I've known you for years. I trusted you. I made you my doctor. If you ever try to pull something like this again, I'm not gonna go easy on you. Adrian. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One more thing. Start in front of a day, you're no longer my doctor. Fire me? You can't get rid of me. I know all about your legs. Are you threatening me? I have no tolerance for anyone who hurts Sierra. Oh yeah, if anybody finds out about my legs before my plan is carried out, you'll be done for. Come in. Now I want you to tell Sierra what happened. I'm so sorry, madam. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have told the doctor that you were allergic to hazelnuts. And I shouldn't have accepted that bribe from her. I'll let you decide. I can throw her body in the lake behind the mansion. <laughs> Look, I know you don't like or respect me, but I treated you with respect. Please, please.
If this happens again, you're fired. Stop crying. Get back to work. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. What? Can you reach my back? I'm dying. Yeah. Mm. What about Ciara? Wars travel fast. God, you're pathetic. Are you seriously gonna let your woman get harassed by some random guy? Oh, that's what you're talking about. What else would I be talking about? Well, what do you suggest I do? Leave it to me. It's not like there's a whole lot you can do about it anyway. That's right. I'm gonna stay home with my wife and I'm gonna let you take care of it. Useless. Joey? The fish has taken a bait. Do me a favor. Keep an eye on Andrew. So, Andrew, what brings you here today? I heard Ciara had a gorgeous sister. It seems I misunderestimated her beauty, though. I also heard you were supposed to marry my brother. Who wants to marry that cripple when his brother is so much better? We should get to know each other. How do you want to get to know me? Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Dinner on me, you in? Go on. And then, I have a surprise for you at the hotel. I'll text you the address. Why are you so pissed this early in the morning, Dad? Clients are canceling contracts left and right. The Coens, the Clarks, the Johnsons, all on the same day. That's weird. You didn't piss anyone off recently. No, I didn't do anything. I have to go and get my hair done. I have a very busy day today. Who are you seeing? Someone who can help our company. Andrew? Are you playing hide and seek, huh? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Nikki, Andrew Lewis. I've got an exclusive for you. Why don't you give me a call back? Laura Mitchell of Mitchell Enterprises has been caught in bed with a man. In an unexpected what twist, the man turned the out to fuck? be her cousin. What the fuck? For what? I was just, I was just following Andrew towards Carlton. He said there was some, some kind of present, and, and, and then the next thing I know, it's... Andrew Lewis. Why would you go see that guy? He's nothing but trouble. Where's Will? Tell that dumbass to come here now. I don't know. He ran away as soon as he woke up and saw paparazzi. How could you two be so stupid? Who the fuck is it now? Say only your brother could pull this off. This is gross. With her cousin? I didn't expect any less from him. I 
I think it's time we pull the net. Hi. Uh, what are these for? Mr. Lewis said your skin is sensitive. He said these will help you recover from your rash. Jesus. Two thousand dollars each? You only deserve the best, madam. That's right, Sarah. You do deserve the best. Adrian, I'll put these on the table for you, madam. You should have spent so much on me. Well, maybe I want to spoil my life a little bit. Fine. I'll let you. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, right? Oh, yeah? What else are husbands supposed to do? Well, let's see. Always listen. Mm -hmm. Never cheat. Mm -hmm. Treat me like a princess. Mm -hmm. And no secrets. Marriage is built on trust. So I think that's the most important one. Sierra, I wanted to tell you something. didn't come here today, you would probably spend your entire life thinking she was your wife. This is not Flora Mitchell. She is the illegitimate child of an unknown woman. Mom, I knew it from day one. Then why didn't you say something? Because it doesn't matter. Because she's the one who married me when no one else would. But it's different this time. Have you not seen the news? Do you not know what her family is really like? What news? No, that's impossible. Look, I know Flora. And she may be spoiled rotten, but she would never do anything like that. Your entire family are cheating, lying scums, a replacement bride. I never should have let you marry my son. Enough. Sierra is my wife, and that's final. Well, did you know your brother was in the hospital? What? Her psycho sister stabbed him with a knife. Cannot keep this girl in my family. No excuses. Get a divorce. Get out! Adrian, how did this all happen? Sierra, I can. Do you know something about this? I can explain. Sierra! Sierra! Adrian, you can stand. Let me explain. Please. Was everything alive? No, of course not. Of course not. Just let me explain. Your mother was right. Let's never see each other again. Sierra. Sierra. I can't find her anywhere. Her phone is off. Looks like she's off the grid. Keep looking. I gotta find him. Where is Andrew? Your legs. Fake paralysis. Keep my guard down. Why are you here? What do you want? You here to laugh at me? No. 
say Ari is gone. All right. Ugh. Have any idea where she can be? She's not my wife. How the hell would I know? Mom came in today. She told Sierra everything. She told her that Flora stabbed you. What the hell did you do? You fucking bastard. It's not, I know. So you're the one that gave Flora the evidence to piss her off? I mean, yes, but... I didn't expect her to stab you. All these years we've been at each other's throats. Did you have anything to do with my car accident? Are you out of your mind? You'd be the one to gain the most, you know. <clears throat> this is why I hate you. You can't trust anyone. You think everybody has an ulterior motive. I would never try and fucking kill you. Listen, uh... I'm sorry, dude. I'm... I really am about... About everything, about Flora, and just, just everything, man. In these years, how many people have we hurt? Countless. Now, Ciara. I can't lose her, man. Gotta find her. Have you tried a grandpa? Tell me what's wrong, sweetheart. Nothing, Grandpa. I just missed you. I've known you your entire life. I can tell when my granddaughter's upset. Is it something to do with your dad and sister? No. I, I just... I just... It said Adrian Lewis, isn't it? He lied, Grandpa. I thought he loved me. That was a lie. Get out, Adrian. Grandpa, I wish I could come visit you sooner. I'm Adrian Lewis and Sierra's husband. We're getting a divorce, Adrian. Sierra, please, just... Five minutes. That's all I'm asking for. I'm going out for some light exercise. See you later, sweetheart. What is it you want to say, Adrian? I pulled a few strings. That's why all the contracts got canceled for the Mitchells corporations. I leaked Andrew that you were harassed by Samuel Woods. It was me who told Flora that Andrew was behind everything that happened to her cousin because I knew he would retaliate. I kept my leg recovery in secret to let Andrew lower his guard. I used you as a pawn. You are... A cold-blooded asshole. You know, all my life, Sierra, I thought power was everything and the strong one lives and the weak one dies. I trusted no one and no one trusted me. Sierra, my family is my enemy. My own mother cares about the company and then she cares about her own self and well-being. But then everything changed when I met you. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. I've never had anyone in my life who didn't want something from me. But you showed me that love is unconditional. <laughs> Yesterday, I talked to Andrew, like to my real brother for the first time in years. I told him I want truth and that I don't want to hurt anybody anymore. Especially you. Well, it's too late for that. It's never too late, Ciara. I'm sorry too, Ciara. For what I did to your sister. You should be resting. 
can't really let my brother lose the love of his life, can I? Otherwise, he might turn back into that asshole. You know, I always thought that we were just gonna fight on forever. And then you showed up. But he's got the brain of a monkey. It's not his fault when he does dumb things. You think you could find it in your heart to forgive him? Sir, will you please give me another chance? This time, no more lies. No more secrets, I promise. Will you please, man? Yes. Flora, where did you go last night? I couldn't find you anywhere. I was in jail. They let me go this morning. Why the hell were you in jail? I stabbed Andrew Lewis. I can't believe this whole thing fucking happened. Hush. Listen to the news. In a strange turn of events, the truth has come to light. Laura Mitchell was drugged. And placed in the hotel room by a business competitor. Mitchell company stocks have returned to their normal range. It's Sierra. She helped us. But why? Your sister is just like her mother. You look ugly. Shut up. No, seriously, you can't wear this dress. I mean, why not? I look cute. Uh, you look like a millennial stuck in a boomer's body. Okay, well, what do you suggest? Adrian Lewis is gonna love it. Oh, who says I'm gonna go see Adrian Lewis? Well, it's only three weeks until the wedding. Who else are you gonna see then, Adrian Lewis? Well, maybe I have another boyfriend. <laughs> Who's your boyfriend? Hmm? I'll make sure he's dead by tonight. I'm leaving. Well, you look beautiful either way. <laughs> really? Because mm -hmm. I'm starting to think that this dress is making me look old. Mm -hmm. I love grandma dresses. <laughs> hey.